Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm talking about measurement today. Um, and I just, this is kind of like a weird assortment of different things, but it's just particularly for one assignment that you're going to see. To start off, I just want to talk about inches and centimeters for a second. I have the rulers up here for both. You can see that, that six inches is about 15 uh, centimeters. Not exactly. These aren't perfectly to scale. It's about 15.25 or something centimeters. You could calculate that by taking 6 times 2.54. But a centimeter, if it was um, actually to scale, is about the width of your little finger. Um, that's pretty, everybody has different little fingers, but about that. And so it takes more two and a half of those, a little more than two and a half of those to make an inch. <clears throat> a yard is uh, pretty close to a meter, 0.91. Um, if you think about about 39 inches to get a meter, and then a mile is 1.6 kilometers. So just, you know, we need to start getting comfortable with what are those measurements as we start to use those more in society. The next thing I have is a list of a bunch of different conversions in the English system um, that you can refer to as needed. And then we're going to talk about the area um, of something here. and when you're changing fractions to decimals as you work through any of your math um, it's okay to change things that are exact like one half is exactly 0.5 or one fourth is exactly 0.25 those are good to do but when you're working with things and it comes out to be a third or um, seven ninths or something like that then you want to be careful about just changing things to decimals because that can cause you to have errors in your rounding so you want to leave things as fractions and when you have a calculator it's not that big of a deal so the first problem I want to work out with you is if the rectangle a rectangle measures 18 feet by 23 feet what's the area in square yards so we know the area is just length times width from up here so if we take 18 times 23 we get um, 414 square feet. Remember, it's two-dimensional, so it's to the second power whenever we're talking about area. But then we didn't ask about square feet. We asked about square yards. And so to do that, you want to look at this and think about, well, how can I change that? So what you want to do is set up your unit conversion. And there are nine square feet in one square yard. So you want to be careful and not use that three feet in one yard. And I drew a picture over here of why that is. If you have a square yard, it's three feet on both sides. And three times three gives you nine square feet. So if I want to have 414 square feet changing to yards, I would then um, multiply by one square yard is nine square feet and that's called a unit conversion and that's what I want you to be starting to use are those unit conversions the square feet cancel leaving square yards and we would then say 414 divided by nine because it's on the bottom nine is on the bottom so we would divide and that comes out to be 46 yards squared and that's because the square feet one being on top and one on the bottom canceled out in the second one, it says convert 60 uh, feet per second to miles per hour and round to the nearest hundredth. So in this case, I want to think about 60 feet to one second. It's a little different than I had it written up here. First thing I'm going to do, I want to change that to miles, and I know how many feet there are in a mile, so I can use that unit conversion. One mile is 5,280 feet. Notice feet on the top goes to feet on the bottom so that they cancel each other out and we're left with miles on the top. Now I could have figured out exactly how many seconds were in an hour, but I just went with the little easier thing of saying, well, I know how many seconds are in a minute. So I first started with seconds and I have seconds up here. So those seconds cancel, leaving minutes, 60 seconds in one minute. And then the next step I would do is say, now I want to get rid of minutes and go to hours because I know there's 60 minutes in one hour. So I'm setting up these unit conversions. I could string these along as many as I wanted. I could also just do them one at a time. But what you can see is I have 60 times 60 times 60 on the top divided by 5,280 on the bottom. So when I do that, rounded to the nearest hundredth was 40.91. But what are my units? Well, notice we got rid of feet and ended up with miles. We got rid of seconds, we got rid of minutes, and we ended up with hours. So our unit should be miles per hour, which is what they were asking us to do there.
All right. And the second half of this video is about the metric system. Um, you have a, a base unit like meters or grams or liters. And then if you times it by 10, you have deca meters or decagrams. H is hectos, hectograms, hectometers by 100, by 1,000 is kilometers or, or kilograms. If you go the other way and you multiply it by 0.1, you have a decimeter, 0 0.01 centimeter, 0 0.001 is millimeter. We can have the same prefixes for the grams. And then we also have micrograms that you're going to need for your uh, measurement activity. So um, in micrometers, if you wanted to do that, that's, that's very small. Think about how many places you're moving. So you're, from a meter, you're going one, two, three, four, five, six places. And notice that's one, two, three, four, five, six places. So those correspond. So when I want to change 125 meters to millimeters, I would start at meters and say, how many places do I move to go from a meter to a millimeter? And I would go one, two, three places. And I'm going three places to the right, so I would add three zeros onto the end of that, and that would just give me 125,000 millimeters. Also, you could use unit conversions to do that, because we know that there's a 1,000 uh, meters for every millimeter. So a thousand uh, millimeters for every meter. I hope I said that right the first time. And I can then cross cancel that and you can see it'd be 125 times a thousand and I would get the same using unit conversion. So you can use unit conversions or you can do, use this what I call the sidewalk chart. And then um, 0.37 centimeters into kilometers. Well, from centimeters to kilometers is one, two, three, four, five steps, and it's to the left. So we would move the decimal point five places to the left from where we start with it. And if you move that five places left, you're basically adding five zeros in there. And so we have a very small a centimeter is not much of a kilometer, right? We could also use unit conversions Look at this though, we have one, two, three, four, five steps. Remember that. So when we do our conversion, one kilometer, notice we have five zeros in there um, for centimeters, so that we're again dividing that by um, 100,000 to get this. So we get the same thing using the unit conversions. I think it's easier to use the sidewalk chart for metric system. And then for micrograms, into uh, milligrams, from micrograms to milligrams is one, two, three steps to the left. So when you have 50, remember your decimal points is actually right here on the far right. So you would move it three places left and that would give you 0 .050. So if you move left on the chart, you move your decimal point left and the number of places is how many spots you move that decimal. And then I could use unit conversion. Again, there's three places, so three zeros there um, that I'm going to move. And I'm going to divide by three zeros, which would give me that in the same way. OK, that should get you through your um, assignment. There's a little more critical thinking involved in your assignment. If there's some conversion that's not provided for you, just jump online and, and look it up. You can find a conversion very easily online. You can just have your phone. I'll look that up for you easily too. So be an independent learner on this, but also this will get you most of the way there. All right, have a great day.